In a bid to bolster its aid to Ukraine during the ongoing conflict with Russia, South Korea announced on July 16, 2023, its intention to provide increased support in demining equipment. The decision came after South Korean President Yoon suk yeols recent visit to Kiev, where he pledged to enhance military and humanitarian assistance to Ukraine. Kim Tae-hyo, Yoon's deputy national security adviser, confirmed the significant demand for demining equipment in Ukraine, prompting the decision to extend further aid in this crucial area. During discussions with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev, President Yoon personally promised additional support. His visit to Ukraine followed his attendance at a NATO summit in Lithuania and a visit to Poland, where he expressed solidarity with Ukraine. Previously, South Korea had contributed non-lethal equipment to Ukraine, including helmets, blankets, combat rations, and medical kits. However, the Ukrainian government officially requested lethal equipment and weapons from South Korea, but so far, the Korean government has not acceded to this request. Both Ukraine and the United States have been urging South Korea for more direct assistance, particularly in terms of ammunition and armored vehicles. South Korea possesses two major assets that are of great interest to Ukraine and the United States. Firstly, South Korea is a significant producer of ammunition, and it could swiftly provide the much-needed munitions to Ukraine, while European countries upgrade their production capacities for high-intensity warfare. Notably, the munitions produced by South Korea adhere to NATO standards. Secondly, due to its commercial ties with Russia, South Korea has a considerable stockpile of military vehicles of Russian origin, such as T-80U tanks and BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicles. However, South Korea's domestic legislation, which prohibits the supply of weapons to countries at war, has officially restrained the country from providing lethal aid to Ukraine. Consequently, the recent announcement of additional demining equipment assistance is an important contribution to Ukraine's ongoing, counteroffensive efforts. Yet, this cautious approach stems from concerns that providing direct military aid to Ukraine could provoke Russia to enhance arms sales to North Korea, and or China, potentially escalating regional tensions. In addition to announcing the provision of increased demining equipment support to Ukraine, President Yoon suk yeols visit to Poland during his European trip has sparked speculation about South Korea's potential, indirect aid to Ukraine. The visit may signify the country's willingness to explore alternative avenues of assistance through the sale of munitions to European, nations like Poland and Lithuania, which could then pass on the supplies to Ukraine. As intelligence leaks from the US indicate, there are indications that South Korea might be contemplating the indirect provision of 105mm artillery shells to Ukraine through intermediary member countries. This potential scenario aligns with President Yoon's diplomatic engagements with Poland and Lithuania. Interestingly, reports suggest that the US has already donated 105mm artillery shells to Ukraine, purchased from South Korea in late 2022 despite South Korean law prohibiting the sale or donation of such munitions to countries at war. By exploring this alternative approach, South Korea might be seeking to navigate its domestic legislation, which prohibits direct military aid to countries at war, while still contributing to Ukraine's defense efforts. This potential avenue of aid could serve as a strategic workaround, enabling South Korea to support Ukraine while avoiding direct confrontation with Russia or potential geopolitical repercussions.